Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about retaining wall design. So different um, in next three video. I mean, uh, with that video, I will show you that how we'll design three types of retaining wall. Okay. So here, uh, in this video, uh, I'll show you about the retaining wall design. And already I have uploaded many video about uh, different component design by using different types of software and in this tutorial series I am just going to use that software uh, use software that name is quick suite and here uh, in first tutorial I have used quick machinery wall and I have shown you that how we'll design different types of uh, machinery work suppose beam columns or anything then uh, I have used quick foundation then I have used a quick a concrete wall so how we'll uh, design concrete wall that's required for our uh, certain purpose and here now I'm going to show you that how will uh, design retaining all by using quick retaining wall okay it's so quick retaining wall software from version 4.0 and uh, this software are free for trial so you can use that to learn that and after learning that software you can buy it from IES website okay IES or so from here and if you think that you need to know about that how will buy that software i can help you so you can uh, buy it from there so after that here quick retaining all will open that software and just one thing if you if you're a civil engineer and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe our channel your subscribe and your support inspires for the next work so just click here after that uh, just here there are three types of retaining wall okay there are three types of retaining wall so first of all I will show you about cantilever wall okay so for cantilever wall I will show you just click here and then give a name you want to give any name you can give her so after that press ok okay so it's done now uh, just see here um, here is our cantilever wall a uh, retaining wall and here is the detailing and here is also detailing if you see here here also detailing uh, option and here also detailing and actually and in that side in that side it's showing the every check or everything and if uh, it show the blue sign that means it's okay and for red sign it's not okay then you have to change that uh, criteria so I will show you that how we'll change that criteria or not. So first of all, I'll go here criteria. After that, here we have to change here everything. Everything. So building code. What is the building code? What building code you want to use? So I will IBC 2012. Then um, concrete load combo. So what is the load combo? So from here you have to select that. Okay, mm, uh, take it default. Then machinery load combo machinery load combo what is the machinery load combo you have to select it from here and stability load combo so from here also you have to select it uh, so you can select anything from here according to your requirement so after that here is the assumption okay uh, and they have restraint uh, restraint against sliding neglect bearing at heel use vertical component for overturning so you can use anything or you can uh, unselect anything from here and also i think you should read it here everything here everything are given you should read it to understand carefully okay so actually i have no enough time and i don't like to make any lengthy video that's why i always try to uh, do that everything i mean i always try to do everything in very short so here you can uh, see it that after that stability criteria for stability criteria required factor of safety for overturning what is the factor of safety for overturning so uh, it's 1.5 then record factor of safety for sliding it's also 1.5 you can increase that or decrease that that not fact then has different safety factor then um, has different safety factor for seismic okay so if you have different safety factor for seismic you can give your suppose um, you can give it here safety um, seismic overturning uh, factor here everything is available 
so you can give here suppose if you want to design for sesame so uh, at this time I'm not considering that or uh, you can consider that okay so I'm not considering that after that allowable bearing pressure what is the allowable bearing pressure for your oh uh, I mean what is the allowable bearing pressure for your soil so if we consider uh, 3000 psi per feet okay per square feet then required bearing location so here you can select the required bearing location okay so it's let it here uh, middle middle third and here what is the required bearing location the required position of the bearing pressure resistance beneath of the footing okay so you can select it from here then here geometrical wall frictional angle wall friction angle so what is the frictional angle 25 then frictional coefficient here and the soil reaction modulus also you have to give here according to your requirement so after that after giving every criteria you have to go here load so um, here you have to increase uh, with that for retaining all their help um soil pressure and also uh, it can be under water so here is the uh, soil pressure I and mean, then here is also soil pressure so they have uh, they have soil and also in that set soil suppose uh, we are using the retaining wall we are using that retaining wall to resist the to resist the um, soil pressure from that side okay that's why uh, this uh, and there is the height or what will be the um, soil okay so uh, after that here uh, you are seeing that from here you are seeing that uh, the load case from for load case the one at the backfill backfill depth okay so what is the backfill depth backfill depth is the from one soil to another soil one soil to another soil level suppose a uh, backfill depth limit how much uh, soil will provide uh, up to the soil level suppose here is the uh, our initial soil level and here we want to draw a retaining wall and in this side we'll fill with water so uh, same i mean uh, we'll fill with uh, uh, soil or any materials so what is the backfill i mean how how much will uh, do it so it's from that point to that point you're seeing that it's six six feet then we can increase the six uh, degrees there. suppose if we uh, increase it uh, nine feet then just see it it's increased that is nine feet so uh, after that and when we are changing that value just see here the there have some point which are giving us cross sign okay that means um these are not okay so we'll increase that uh, in our uh, time to time so after that um here uh, it's okay then uh we'll i mean after that uh, will give her the measure from lower grade footing uh, I mean a footing top or footing bottom so uh, here uh, we are measuring from the lower grade okay so if we give her footing top just see here from um, footing top it's from footing top it's nine feet so like that you can uh, measure it so I'm just going to do from lower grade so after that a uh, unit weight okay a uh, unit weight so slope here if you if you have slope here suppose you have, you have the soil in not the plane here the soil is not in plane okay it's have the slope so if we use slope sup suppose it's a uh, 20 degree slope just see here it's a 20 degree slope here its soil have 20 degree slope like that suppose so they have provided here 20 degree slope suppose uh, it's I'm um, providing that it's have zero degree slope it's zero degree slope after that unit weight gamma what is the unit weight okay. I mean the soil unit weight what is the unit weight of that soil you have to provide that unit weight of soil or unit of the unit weight of that materials you have to provide here the frictional angle what is the frictional angle you have to give her the uh, five frictional angle of that 
uh, I mean soil and then C here is the uh, C cohesion what is the cohesion of this materials so you have to provide it here when uh, you are using I mean when you are uh, using its uh, I mean binding binding clay or anything that you will not found any uh, cohesion uh, sorry uh, when you are using sand or anything that you will not find any question here like that so um, you can give her the question value then water in backfill if you think that there have water in the backfill set if you have water in the backfill set so you can also add that by clicking here it has water in backfill okay so here uh, you can select that here is the height from from here what is the sorry here what is the height of water what is the height of water from the top of the foundation what is the height of water you can also change that then unit weight of water we know the 62.4 pound per square feet then saturated 5 uh, degree and saturated wet okay so you can give it here so I will consider that they have no water okay so after that here passive okay passive pressure at the rate of toy passive pressure at the rate of toy so what is the passive pressure here's the you can analyze step the Rakhan pressure, columns pressure at rest. So they have many things, and we are uh, mostly well known with Rakhan pressure. So I will select that. There's a frictional angle. What is the frictional angle you have to give here? The cohesion C you have to give here. Unit weight gamma 100. I am just you know, not going to give anything here. Uh, I'm just giving here. Um, it's as default. Now here they have apply only 2k. Suppose you have uh suppose you have uh, the sliding rigs here it, it can be slab slide then we can use k so if we apply here then uh we can use the i mean sorry we can use k so if we give here suppose it's one feet and or if you think that uh, the k is not required then you can also uh, escape that what is the k if you see here so here uh, they have a option here uh, in bottom that will uh, raise the sliding okay so I will not consider that after that in here uh, here the search search if you have any search charts here you can also give here passive or add idea anything you can also add it here suppose here the pressure you can give it the search charts here and I will select none so after that search charts line sorry here uh, uniform lateral load so if you have uniform lateral load here you can also add here uniform lateral load okay so here uh, uniform lateral load if you give um, the value is plus it will go in that direction and if you give here minus minus so it will uh, work in that direction okay so I will consider that so I'm not going to use that after that uh, stream axial load if there have any stream axial load so you can also um, add it here if there have any axial load so there have no load then uh, seismic loading you can uh, has the backfill seismic load if you have you can add here otherwise uh, you should ignore that so I will not add here so after that it's done we have provided our every load now you are seeing that our uh, that model are not okay because it's not okay for sliding then in here uh, just if we apply K here uh, Okay, uh, I will do it uh, later. So if here you are seeing that our four point is not okay, our uh, stability check is not okay, our heel check is not okay, and our uh, stream check is not okay. So here we will go here or stream. After that, you are seeing that height. What is the height of uh, the free portion? What will be the height of free portion? So we have to give it here. Suppose uh, our height is. 2 feet I think it's okay so this is the height is uh, 2 feet after that what is the stream top thickness what is the stream top thickness okay 
so the steam top thickness is okay suppose it's 10 inch and if you need to increase that uh, i mean bottom okay then you have to click here tapered okay so you have to click here tapered and the extra inch okay in toy or in here uh in toy or in hell here you have to give that value so extra thickness at the rate of toy if you give here it in toy or here is the toy set and here is the hell set so if you uh, want to give extra i mean uh, if you want to give the extra thickness taper thickness in hell set then you have to give it on toy set so i will give it here in hell set it's i will give zero and uh, in extra thickness in toy set i'll give uh suppose it's five inch just see here now uh, it's increasing that side okay uh it's increased that side or you can also increase that it's eight inch like that you can increase that after that reinforcement okay so reinforcement in here the reinforcement what will be the reinforcement requirement and uh, what is what will provide the reinforcement here for flag general so if you uh, give her the reinforcement layout single the center if you provide the reinforcement at the rate of uh, at center or here then two curtains see if you, you can give the reinforcement here uh, one and here one and when we have provided reinforcement here just see that in our when we have provided reinforcement in two sides then just see here this uh, steam check is okay okay so again if you go here suppose just see that they have two failure okay so uniform when you have uniform then see that uh, it's also fail i mean unreinforcement and so i'll use two curtain after that here uh, we can increase or decrease the reinforcement bar size suppose i will use number five bar and it's being failed development so and if i use the 10 inch just uh sorry 10 inch spacing bar spacing then it's also okay after that if there have hook okay inhale or not and you can also give her a straight hook into heel hook into toy so also you can give her hook into toy and hook into hill so i'll give her hook into hill also so after that here uh, they have many things you can change the second layer bar spacing or first layer bar spacing or anything second layer uh, bar size what is the second layer bar size what will be the, you can also decrease the number five bar it's also okay for it then reinforcement so has horizontal bar if you have horizontal bars suppose uh, if you do not to provide horizontal bar just see here it will not provide any horizontal bar okay so it's also okay if we do not provide horizontal bar uh, uh, till that it's okay but we'll provide horizontal bar for more stability so here you can uh, decrease the bar size okay so same for both layer okay same for both layer now we'll gain, go here and elevation view here so it's um okay almost so again we'll come here so from here what is the footing geometry we'll uh, do the uh, we'll increase because we are seeing that uh, the stability check is also not okay and here the toy and heel they uh, in heel they have failing process so mm, this is our toy set and this is our heel set so what will uh, do here we'll just uh, give the yeah, that barrel depth i mean on that side depth you have to give here then um, river this is the river for river this is for concrete you can change that and if this is for unit weight and after that the footing thickness here is the what is what will be the, your footing thickness you can increase decrease just uh, we'll do it later so what is the uh, hair length so here is the hair length five feet and what is the 
toy length it's four feet so if we increase that if we give it oh, sorry if we give it five feet and it's five feet uh, and if we increase it as uh, six feet so it's six feet uh, still that it's not okay or uh, and if we increase increase it before that uh, to reduce that uh, stability check I mean sliding it's a uh, failing sliding so we'll use has key just here we have my pro when we have provided key then it's our sliding is okay because when we'll provide key here it will reduce its it will reduce its uh, sliding okay so what is the key depth the one feet we can use one feet it also it's okay and uh, key width what is the width of key if we use uh, 12 inch then it's also okay if we use a uh, 12 inch key here also okay key position here's the uh, key position you can give anywhere the key position under e stream it's okay to use under e stream after that transverse reinforcement what is the transfer what will be the transfer reinforcement you can give it here uh, if you provide number six number five you can give it here anything after that then heel reinforcement what is the heel reinforcement here you are seeing that uh, horizontal bar are not okay so here um, heel reinforcement if we increase that number five is sorry number six we have to provide number six for uh, heel check after that um, we have to give her e stream check so for e stream check here uh, we have to go here e stream and here one thing is not okay so for that we can e increase our uh, top what is the horizontal bar ratio horizontal bar ratio is not okay so if we decrease that it's showing uh, both failure so uh, two failures so we have to give it here and also if we horizontal uh, bar is not okay here showing the horizontal bar so if we use number five bar just see that it's okay now they have only one failure in health check so we have to give here in health check only one failure so uh, in footing we'll go here toy and transfer reinforcement in uh, the health reinforcement so if we go here and if we uh, decrease the spacing then uh, it's also not okay so helper cover twin so if we also increase the bar size 7 if we bar size 8 so uh, it's not okay and for share if we also use this that is at 8 okay and here on footing geometry so if we increase its length again or its thickness thickness 12 uh, if we increase uh, its 15 just see that now our everything is okay okay so in this way you can design a retaining wall uh, within a minute by using that simple tools okay quick retaining all tools by using that tool you can do that so i think um, it's okay now if you want to So and there have uh, more option you can click here by uh, for more economical make the make it more economical okay so here you can do it by clicking here if you click here it will uh, choose footing reinforcement uh, that is required or you can increase decrease that and you can check it here so I think it's okay to end uh, how will print that how you will pin that retaining wall so you can see it from here uh, just click here create a uh, DXF file or you can click here so you can click here print quick print here otherwise you can click a file save as or then you can click a save as so from here you can save uh, it where you have to save that and after that you can come here here uh, print okay so after that quick print 
and there are many many things what you want to print and after that press ok and from here we will use it in PDF so it will show you in 21 file then press ok and from your bottom just you have to save it anywhere and suppose in desktop uh, then ok it's making the PDF so here is the total PDF and here is the uh, reinforcement detailing uh, for everywhere here is the reinforcement detailing and every shape of that retaining wall are given here so and here also if you go in uh, bottom here you will find everything and every calculation also for that wall or anything I mean anything you require here everything is available you can uh, take it and you can do anything manually from here so I think it's okay to you and if you think that this is helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video share our video and also leave a comment so that I can understand that's really helpful for you and your own comment and your online inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video